Hey, I got an idea. Let's go to the movies. We will create an American Film Institute, bringing together leading artists of the film industry, outstanding educators, and young men and women who wish to pursue the 20th century art form as their life's work. The National Endowment for the Arts did something incredibly important when it was launched, and that was to recognize, acknowledge, and proclaim that moving images were an art form. They knew what to do about opera and ballet and theater, but they had a question about film. What was it? Well, what it is at its finest is art. I was born in the White House Rose Garden, it was an idea, but it was an idea whose time had come. There are three main tenets of AFI's national mandate. The preservation of the heritage of the motion picture, the recognition and celebration of the artists and their work, and also the education of the next generation of storytellers, ensuring that this great art form continues. AFI is about excellence. We are trying to create excellence. We are trying to recognize excellence. We're trying to preserve excellence. It's not how much money did the movie make, it's how great is it. This is a nitrate negative of the Warner Brothers film Casablanca with Humphrey Bogart and, and, and company. Uh, this is actually, I believe, reel two of Casablanca. We were set up to advance the art of film, and we addressed several immediate and very important problems. First of all, over half of the films that had been made up to that time were made on nitrate film. And the phrase then was, nitrate won't wait, because it was combustible and could explode, and it happened too often. If a nitrate film catches fire, you cannot put it out because it makes its own oxygen as it burns. You basically just walk or run away from it and let it finish. We, a small institution, gave a substantial grant to the very big Library of Congress to energize their film preservation program. We have around 150,000 reels of nitrate film dating from about 1895 up to about 1951. And every time we get a new batch of films, something always comes out of it that is lost uh, and, and important. Just last week, one of the cans held a lost Lois Weber film. A lot of people don't remember Lois Weber. She was one of the first really major female directors of the silent era, and her stuff is amazing. We found a lost film of Alice Guy Blachet, another great female director, and the person who is often credited with having the first purpose-built movie studio in the United States. But because, of course, film biz became such a man's game, you never heard about these women. You know, they were very, very important and very powerful. They've just been kind of pushed aside. So one of the things we're doing up here is trying to make sure that people know about these women and the work that they did. Because actually, they're usually better than a lot of the men directors. Preserving our films is important because if that's our history, 
And you know, a country that ignores its history is leaving something behind. The NEA deserves all the credit for saving American film history. And it did it through the American Film Institute. We wanted to celebrate the best of American film. And we started the American Film Institute Life Achievement Award. And the first year, we gave it to John Ford. I wish I had the words to express my feelings. The recognition of an artist's place in our society is one of the mandates of the American Film Institute. Because when we recognize artists and their work, we do so without competition. 1998, we were about to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the moving image. And what AFI was able to do at that moment in time created AFI's 100 Years, 100 Movies, which allowed America to think about its film heritage in a way it never had. And that just struck a chord and was enormously successful. AFI Awards is a program that the Institute began in the year 2000 to say that these are 10 great stories told this year. What's unique about AFI Awards is that it's a celebration of the creative ensemble and a recognition that this is one of the world's collaborative art forms. No single person makes a movie. And the AFI uses this moment to bring that team together to say, job well done. AFI Fest is the longest running international film festival in Los Angeles. It's our moment to have a little bit of fun. There are red carpets, there are Klieg lights, it's at the Chinese Theater. Uh, it's a great old Hollywood moment. And it's not only great movies, but it's also great discussion about the power of the movies in our world today. I think it's a, it's a fantastic blend of art house and you know bigger movies, and I think that that's uh, they, they do a great great job of of making it seem seamless. AFI Docs is a place for documentary filmmakers to gather in our nation's capital uh, with stories where their goal is to have an impact, and our goal is to unite them with our nation's leaders and people that can help affect that kind of change in our culture and around the world. Going to the AFI was a life-changing experience, and I don't say that lightly. The AFI Conservatory is unique in that there are six disciplines that are taught. Directing, producing, cinematography, screenwriting, editing, and production design. The AFI is what they call a conservatory, which is a European model, which means first of all you learn by doing, but also you learn by being criticized. You do your project and you present it to the class and then everyone rips the shit out of it, and you're not allowed to say a word. And it's an extraordinary experience to have people just tell you what's wrong with what you did, and you can't defend it. And you learn this kind of sense of responsibility that you can't go out and explain to the audience, but it was raining that day, and I, I couldn't get that shot the way I wanted. Edswick and I met the first day of our class and became close friends and worked on each other's crews. We are the longest living partnership in Hollywood right now. That came directly from AFI. We quote things we learned at AFI literally every day. The impact that our alumni has had on the history of the moving image has been remarkable. It is a vast, diverse group of people that continue to have an impact on all the movies and television shows being made today. 
One project that is near and dear to my heart is the directing workshop for women. I want to thank AFI for being such a force for filmmakers and in particular for women filmmakers uh, for the last 40 years. It's so, so important. Initial funding started in 1973. We realized that there were very few women applying because of the lack of previous opportunity. And it attracted all kinds of really interesting creative people. It is a vital part of what we do. The AFI started the directing workshop for women when it was needed. We continued it because it's still needed and we will always be behind our sisters whose voices and stories need to be told. We have to have more women directors because women see things differently. We just do. And the things that touch us are different than what touch men, and that's great. There's nothing wrong with that, except that our point of view is not shown enough. We've had some remarkable women come through, and I really do believe in this century, women directors will take their place beside all of the creative artists in this community in a much more prominent, forceful, and exciting way. NEA meant everything to AFI because they created us. They supported us through our childhood, through our adolescence, and in a sense, helped us until we could stand on our own two feet. And I think that the creation of the NEA changed America. That's the value of the National Endowment for the Arts, is to ensure that our culture continues and thrives, and they've been doing it for 50 years elevating the quality of films and television that enlarges the sympathies, that stimulates the mind and the spirit, that warms the heart, punctures the balloons of hypocrisy, greed, and sham, tickles the funny bone, and leaves us with a glow that comes when we have been well entertained, and at the same time encourage, foster, and commission work of quality and originality. You have to have professionals in order to have the kind of good content that we all want. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what the platforms are going to be. All we know is that people want to see stories. The idea of facilitating each of these people to become the best storyteller that person can be is the future of AFI.